Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is a laser pointer through money. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a Canadian banknotes and laser. The new Canadian banknotes are made of plastic, also called polymer. The primary reason of the change in material from cotton paper to polymer is security. The security features in the new notes include many improvements, but the one I'm going to show you today is the holography, which is hidden in the frosted maple leaf. A hologram is an image appears to be three-dimensional and which can be seen by the naked eye. A holography is the science and the practice of making holograms. Typically, a hologram is a photogenic recording of a light field, rather than an image that forms by a lens. So the first of three experiments, if you shine a laser pointer through the center of the maple leaf, you'll see the feature of the banknote. It'll project the image and show the value of the currency here, a dollar sign and a five. So I've got a $10 here, and if you put it in the middle, you can see the dollar sign 10. Here, uh, shining it through the middle with a red laser, a dollar sign 20. And last, uh, 50, and it looks like it's the clearest image there, the dollar sign 50 right there. So for the second experiment, I use different color lasers. Now using the green one, you can see it really reflects off the maple leaf and you can kind of see a little bit of the $5 note, but it's very hard to read. Um, now using a purple blue laser on a $5 note, um, you can barely make out it's a $5. You have to get really close, but um, the red laser seemed to work the best overall. So for the third experiment here, I have a candle on a table and you can see that it was reflecting through if you hold it up to your eye. Here I'm holding the note up to my eye and I have some Christmas tree lights. So any direct lights, that could be a street light and you pull the maple leaf up to your eye and you're able to see in direct light, it's a $10 bill, which is pretty impressive. So uh, you could go to any bank and get an exchange and get Canadian dollars like I did. I found this app for U.S. bills called iNote, and it was developed by the Bureau of Engraving and Printing for those for the visual impaired. So you click it, and then it pops up, and then you just take any bill, and you put it front. Twenty Twenty dollars in front, where you could do twenty dollars back. back. So it helps you identify, which is pretty cool. And then five dollars front. Twenty dollars back. One dollar front. One dollar back. So let's see if we can do one of the rare, uh, older. Two dollars front. <laughs> and that's a 1963. Like those videos over here and those videos over here. Okay, fine, hang up.